Hello everyone. Let us start with a bit of laughter yoga. <laughs> <laughs> and now, it is your turn. I will show you once more how to do this. And the third time, you all will do together with me. you as well. So, the hands will go in front of you. And on the count of three, not yet, not yet, not yet. It will go like this. Are you ready? And in front of you. Are you ready? Are you ready? On the count of three, now. one, two, three. Okay, sit down, please. Thank you all very much. I have a question for you. When you had to do this with me, did you feel silly? Yeah. Or embarrassed? Both. <laughs> well, if you did, I'm sorry. But then you have grown up. <laughs> Today, I wish to share with you three life lessons children teach you. When the orange of early sunrise mixes with the dark blue of the night, there is so much energy in the morning sky that it makes waking up a little easier. Thinking of the children of our world, starting my day with a smile. When my young cousin smiles at me, my heart melts. I read that a baby smiles 400 times a day, a youngster 14 times a day, and that adults, most often, hardly produce one smile a day. Think about how many times you smile in a day. It's hard to remember, isn't it? So, I did a test. I counted for how many times I smiled in a day. At the end of the day, I managed to have five smiles. And I was very happy with it because there were at least more than one. Realizing the importance, I decided to start my day with a smile. My life lesson number one, start your day with a smile. Once, when jumping on my bicycle on my way to work, a young child passing by greeted me with much enthusiasm. Hello, miss, said the young boy. This gesture sparked enthusiasm in me as well. And I wanted to keep that the whole day. Enthusiasm gives you energy. Whenever I complain about being tired, I think of those kids who go on all day, running, falling, soon standing up again. Don't you think that's amazing? My life lesson number two for you. Don't ever lose your enthusiasm. In the metro, I sat next to a boy and his father. The boy curiously observing the passengers with big eyes, asking his father the famous questions starting with why. Why do people go in a metro? Why are the seats blue? I heard a hunger to learn. I saw eyes wanting to explore the world. Did you know, on average, a four-year-old child asks 437 questions a day? <laughs> In fact, our whole life is about asking questions. It is so important to have a moment of reflection and to be curious. Keep asking, why am I doing this? Asking others and ourselves questions. Keep us sharp. Life lesson number three. Have an ongoing 
curiosity, asking questions. Be hungry for information. I believe that where is no shame, there is only gain. In one day in the Netherlands, 505 children are born in one day. 505 new human beings who will surprise us. Who will eventually grow up, but hopefully a part of them will remain very young. I always wondered how it was to be a grown-up when I was a child. My message for you is, tomorrow, Start your day with a smile. Adopt one life lesson of a child. Implement this in your life. And a part of you will stay very young, making your life colorful as early sunrise. Thank you all very much. Well, thank you, Lupera. Let me judge in some questions. What's the function of growing up? <laughs> the in, function in the context of your story. Because we all need to be kids. We need you. The function of growing up is that you learn how to take decisions. I tell the story so you can combine it with awareness. Kids sometimes are not aware of her example, danger. When you grow up, you know where perhaps danger is. But when you combine it with aspects kids have, like enthusiasm, face danger with enthusiasm. So in that sense, this is, this is just a small example. I think growing up and being a child together is a perfect combination. <laughs> More questions? Have you got an explanation for the reason why children smile 400 times a day and an adult only once, or why a child asks 437 questions a day and a child, or a parent, or a grown-up, a lot less? Um, there's no scientific explanation. If I have to give you an explanation, I think we adults think too much. We are busy thinking the whole day. We are worrying also a lot. Kids are not that much busy with that. So I think as adults, use your mind, but not too much. And then the smile comes itself. But then what about the questions? Because if, if we think a lot, then why would a child ask a question if he doesn't think? You don't always have to think for a question. Sometimes a question just comes. And when you have to think, you think. And when you don't have to think, don't think. <laughs> More questions? Uh, yes. Ron Guzman made a, a, a TED talk about the hidden power of the smile. Yeah. Did you see that? Yes. I, well, I think it's, <laughs> <laughs> it's good to yeah, smile. Was... I, I, I like your enthusiasm about it, but I don't think it should be, it should be mandatory. It should be something honest. Because <laughs> 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 if you're having a shit day and you're just going to smile like, yeah, I have to smile now. But I feel like shit. <laughs> Doesn't yeah. really empower the smile like, if you would feel good. Perhaps you should try it one day, <laughs> and then you come back to me. I'd like to respond to that. Um, just now we all have to, you know, we have to force our laugh, and then it's in the beginning it seems kind of ridiculous. But when everybody does it, it actually makes me laugh, and I didn't even have to force it. By itself. So I kind of disagree with you, sorry. <laughs> yeah, it, it works physically, you feel better when you smile and you can't frown at the same time. But, but it's not honest, that's what I'm saying. When you smile like every day when you get it. That's, yeah. I remember being a child and what I remember <laughs> <laughs> I, I know it might be special. I remember that I always smiled whenever the world around me surprised me. And I still have that. Whenever the world around me surprised me, whenever I see a whole classroom of people doing laughter yoga, I'm, I'm smiling. What is your advice to 
I have me keep being surprised with the world. How can I stay surprised? Or stay smiling? That is a good question. Um, to keep surprised with the world is uh, just keep wondering about everything. Wondering is something different than being surprised. So when you see something, I just ask a question. When you ask a question, actually, you enforce in yourself to be surprised. At least, that's my opinion. Go search for that answer and be surprised. Again, and like I said, do it enthusiastic. Maybe it is forced, but the first time it will be forced. Second time, perhaps also. Perhaps the 99th time, and 100th time, I think perhaps a bit of natural feeling will come. So you're saying enthusiastically try new things, and then the world will keep surprising you, and then you will be smiling. I like that. <laughs> <laughs> I do want to answer his question when you have to always have to force a smile. I wonder that if you really find out that you always have to force a smile, you should change something in your life. I'm just saying it would take away from the power of smiling. I'm not saying. <laughs> <laughs> if everybody just keeps smiling the whole time. You know, it's going to be really Actually, there's a good solution for your problem. Uh, it's a quote from Batman. Why so serious? <laughs> that was the Joker. Yeah. <laughs> Why so serious? <laughs>